What is up, my dudes? It's your boy, Skinny Penis, and I am back with another one. And today we are checking out Instinct and their latest single, Made of Stone. Now, those of you who have been on the channel for a while, and I mean like since it started, might recognize this band we did. I believe that was their debut single we did. I don't remember the name of it, but I mean, we only had like 15, 20 videos on the channel at the time, so it was a long time ago. I gotta knock this one out because these guys are coming to Oklahoma and so I'm going to see them perform soon. So it's either I do it now before they get here or I can't react to it. So here we are. But if you want to check out the original video, links and whatnot will be in the description down below. I'm for the okay. Okay. I love those drums. Fills for days, boy. Someone gonna get hurt to that live, boy. <laughs> it's me. I'm gonna get hurt. Jesus Christ, your drummer going off. That riff is chunky. Okay. <coughs> okay. We gotta say something real quick. I feel bad for pausing because I'm really vibing with this. Uh, it says on the title, it says metalcore slash hardcore, and I was kind of wondering what it was going to be leaning towards more because typically when it says something like that in the title, it's one of them is much more dominant than the other. Um, it's it's like hardcore musically, but more metalcore vocals with like a hardcore flow. Man, it's it's weird, but I dig the shit out of it. Um, I, one of the things I don't like about hardcore music, other than, you know, the people that are in it and that play it and go to the shows, um, is I was never really a big fan of the yelling vocal style. I like screams and I like singing, but like, I'm not really big on the yelling. So this is like everything I do like about hardcore, but with some vocals with some balls on it. And yeah, they're just like fucking swinging, knocking everything over and like, <laughs> probably going to cut that out of the video. Anyway. Okay, that was cool. Okay, so hardcore drummer, hardcore bassist, metalcore vocalist, and then for some reason, a guitarist from a thrash band. I mean, like, I'm here for it. It's cool. I just, like, I'm trying to, like, grasp everything going on right now. Ooh, got a lot of distortion on your bass there, bud.
God, that's so heavy. Bouncy. I don't, I don't remember much about the first time I reacted to this band. Um, I've smoked a lot since then, and it's been like well over a year and a half since then. But uh, I remember I enjoyed it. I, I don't think I would have agreed to come back and do another one if I didn't enjoy it the first time. But uh, man, I really dug the shit out of this. It was, it was really cool. Um, like I said at the in the video, like I don't really get down with a lot of hardcore stuff. But it's you took all the cool elements of hardcore, the big stops and uh, chuggy breakdowns of metalcore, and that weirdly like thrashy kind of riff that you had going on. It was, and I'm not hating. I liked it. Like I am not talking shit. It's just, it just just wasn't expecting it, you know. And I love that you guys throw a lot of distortion on the bass tone because you only have one guitar player. And if you're gonna have one guitar player, in my opinion. Uh, to not lose some of the balls of the song, for lack of a better term. You kind of have to crank your distortion on the bass a little bit. I mean, I know there are bands that are exceptions, but that's just how I feel about it. And the fact that you have a good distortion tone, too, that's <laughs> that's that's good, too. Because uh, some people are just like, crank it all to 11, and we'll just see what happens. And that's that's not how tone works. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and support Instinct. Check them out. They got some really cool, really cool merch dropping soon. I already got me pre-ordered one of them t-shirts. I don't know if they got any left. If they do, I'll drop that in the description. See you kids later.